Previously on Bottom Feeders. These are all going to get boxed and iced here and loaded on the truck here in just a little bit. And then we got to do a whole nother load for Thursday. These are all headed towards Minneapolis. If I don't do it, there's always somebody else waiting in line to try to take the business. Well, I think we need a new game plan there, buddy boy. That one we're like Got to catch more fish in this, obviously, or I cannot do this. I guess, uh, as I say, you got to roll with the punches. I'm too stubborn to give it off. Carp, sheephead, buffalo, and suckers. For most Americans, these bottom feeders have no place in our lakes or on our plates. But there are fishermen who have found opportunity. Um, did you want to gut them buffalo is what I was going to ask. I suppose we can. There's more in back to do. There's eight more tubs back there. A small business relies heavily on momentum. Today is delivery day at the fish market, and Jeff Ritter must keep things moving forward. I actually thought we were getting close to getting done. I was wrong. I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place. I, I, I know that I need to uh, help deliver, but since we've gotten so busy, I need to be in the market, and we have taken on a couple new customers. It definitely something I don't want to let go. I've put us in a bind. How many hours are there in a day? <laughs> Consumed by the dual challenges of keeping existing customers happy while continuing to grow the business, Jeff needs a little help. For this messed up deal I've got myself in, uh, my wife is going to make a few deliveries for us. She definitely is a team player. You know how many pounds it is. It's either four or five. You can't mess it up. Sue is a, a blessing. I couldn't be where we're at uh, without her. I'd have such a mess. OK, love you. Drive careful. You want me to look at the boxes or no? No. OK. No good. I'll call you. I think she'll do fine. She's delivered before. She got a new place to go to. Hopefully, she'll find it. Otherwise, she'll be calling. Sue is facing 400 miles round trip. Oh, I have to have this, and I've never ran this one. Try to help out as much as I can. Some days. It's a little more challenging. I might have my day planned out. That might all change in a matter of a phone call. <laughs> it has been a whirlwind. We, we can't keep up with the ice. We can't keep up with the fish coming in, the fish going out. And that's why I'm delivering on my days that I can. We just picked up four more accounts. Two new today. I haven't met these people. We're full going everywhere that we're going. It's exciting though, because we are growing and that's what we want. As long as they keep buying fish, we're good. Exit 15. fall arrives in the upper Midwest. Fishing is slowing down, and some commercial fishermen are forced to scramble. That was a day of fishing. Oh, that's terrible. I used to try to find, do something different for a little while, you know? It's hard to get on fish and stay on them this time of year. I hate to ever say it, but you're better off just not going. You're, you're losing money. My, my goal is to try to make $100 a day just to pay my bills, to feed my dogs. Until the fishing gets straightened out here, until yeah. you know, the market and everything. I got to make sure the bills get paid here, and it sure doesn't hurt for him to make money either, and it's hard to do a lot of stuff by yourself. So I need a couple hundred bucks here in the next couple days for sure. Anything for a buck. Yeah. Anything for a buck. You got to do what you got to do, you know. The job market is thin in a small town like Pepin, Wisconsin. Hey, Johns, what do you think about cleaning chickens? Chicken cleaner? 
I don't know if I much care for cleaning chickens. I like, like eating chickens. I don't know if I like cleaning them. Uh, I've never cleaned a chicken before. They really don't like kill, killing yard animals. Yeah, we might as well call him, huh? See what's yeah. going on. Why wouldn't he? He's not making a buck out fishing. He might as well make a buck, too. We're going to try it. The fishing hasn't been great, so if we can uh, make a few bucks fishing and do a few bucks on the side here. It's kind of hard to back out of it. I to walk right by the poster and it went to the other poster. Much rather be on the water, I know that. Do whatever you got to do to to make money. To earn $100 each, Mike and Rick will need to clean 200 chickens. Well, <laughs> I'm not much of a chicken killer. I don't got nothing against killing a carp, but killing a chicken, that's different. She said we can clean anywhere from 100 to 1,000. What if they bite? How many chickens are consumed in the United States each year? The answer is C. Americans consume more than 8 billion chickens every year. miles from home, Jeff's wife Sue is arriving in Minneapolis. With a host of regular deliveries and two new customers, she must stay on schedule. Point two miles to destination on right. I hate this traffic. Minneapolis is challenging. I try to get in there and out as fast as I can because there's people waiting for the fish. I'm going to go down to the back. get a cart. <laughs> I usually try to meet all my timelines so I can get the van back here because the guys are usually waiting. They've boxed fish for the deliveries for the next day. So I try to get them to pack them a little bit lighter. This one's 74. This market sells over 200 pounds of Jeff and Sue's fish every week. How are we doing today? So I just need to get your signature. OK. All right. <laughs> well, thanks. Have a good day. Yeah, this one's pretty easy. This one ain't so bad, except that they don't come out and help. <laughs> Sue is meeting a new customer in a downtown Minneapolis parking lot. OK, he's not here, Jeff. If this guy's late, that pushes me back for the next guy. It can just snowball. They're usually completely out at the next store. I hope he hurries up. Oh, man. That don't look like no chicken. <laughs> chicken. That's it, boy. It looks delicious, though. So. <laughs> Back on the farm, if Mike and Rick are going to reach their goal of making a hundred bucks each, they better get plucking. Well, where do we start? The lame one. Let's get the lame one first. I don't know about this. This don't sit with me very good right now. Getting a little cringe in my in my tummy. Do they bite? Quit playing with them. Just grab one already. Rick can dilly dally a little more than he needs to, and right now he's got to just quit playing, and we got to get this job done. We said we were going to do it, now we got to do it. I catch him, you kill him. Or two bucks of chicken sounds better. So I think we need a buck a piece at least to clean these suckers. You got him by the leg or what? Any technique that works and you end up with chickens, that's a good enough technique. Watch this. There, this is a lazy one down here. Oh, you little sucker. <laughs> a lot of times you just uh, bite off a little more than you can chew. Oh, there they are. We got a whole bucket full over here, John. <laughs> oh, I think I got some poop on there. Oh, you little sucker. I'll get, get that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh. There. 
Catching chickens is only half the job. To get paid, Mike and Rick will need to send those birds to meet their maker. We just got to put them in and... We've signed up to do this. Uh, somebody's counting on us to do this now. Uh, we're gonna butcher chickens. I think he uh, wants to go in there anyway, really. He feels pretty secure in there. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> they weren't gonna cut their own heads off, so... Really wish they would have. I didn't want to be a chicken killer. <laughs> this ain't no fun. I've had better days. You gotta cut their heads off. I can't do it. No way. Do a lot of things for a buck, but I don't know about this one. 